Choice. Not being allowed to make choices about their lives is one of the top complaints we receive as ombudsmen from neighbors living in long-term care homes. When in fact, the neighbors have a legal right given in federal and state regulations to not only make choices about their lives that are important to them, but also to be treated with dignity and respect. In addition, the home must promote and protect this right of neighbors. Here's a story about a neighbor we will call Laura that will explain this right. Laura had watched The Tonight Show faithfully for 45 years, most of those years with her husband until he recently passed away. She stayed faithful to the show, even when the host changed from Johnny Carson to Jay Leno to Conan O'Brien to out to Jimmy Fallon. For all these years, Laura's bedtime routine was to relax in her recliner with a Diet Coke and enjoy lighthearted topics and lots of laughs with her husband by her side. This routine put Laura in a good mood for a peaceful night's sleep. Well, after her husband died, Laura lived at home safely as long as she could but now she needed the caregiver support provided in a nursing home. Among other things, Laura needed help getting to the bathroom, getting her PJs on and getting into bed. She'd made peace with moving into a home, even with having to get rid of many of her possessions and knowing she would have a roommate. Until, until staff told her she had to be in bed before 9 p.m. with the TV off and no drinks before bedtime because they didn't want to have to take her to the bathroom more than once a night. She was being treated like a child and not with any dignity or respect. You remember when your parents would tell you to go to bed or warn you not to drink too much water or you'd wet the bed at night? Who likes to be told what time to go to bed or to get up? Who really likes to be told what to do at all? Having caregivers dictate a bedtime routine is completely unacceptable and disrespectful. After all, this is Laura's home. So if Laura wanted the caregivers help getting her ready for bed, she felt she had to follow their schedule. This meant she was not allowed to stay up and watch The Tonight Show, have her diet coke, laugh, or reminisce about the hours her and her husband had spent together. She was understandably upset, so her friend suggested she call the ombudsman. I am so glad she called. Laura explained why she was upset and depressed. Since she was now having trouble sleeping, the nurses were recommending a sleeping pill for her. That was really the last straw. Laura asked us for help getting her life back. So with Laura's permission, I had a conversation with the facility administrator informing her the staff were violating Laura's legal rights by not allowing her to make choices about aspects of her life that are important to her, and particularly her bedtime routine. As a result, the social services director identified a number of other residents who preferred to stay up past the 9 p.m. or even to sleep in. Staff were then educated about allowing residents to choose their routines. In addition, staff were reminded they have a duty to protect all the rights of residents, including when residents choose to get up or go to bed. Laura and others now enjoy having control over their lives again. Can you picture Laura sitting in a recliner with her Diet Coke, enjoying The Tonight Show, and enjoying life again without any sleeping pills needed? So tonight, when you're enjoying your evening routine at home, Remember, if you need to go into a nursing home, your ombudsman will be there to fight for you to have your choices honored. Until next time, join us at Voices Inc. in upholding the dignity and quality of life of those neighbors living in long-term care neighborhoods. Thank you.